Hey guys, welcome back to Popo's Woodwork. So <clears throat> I'm doing another flag today and I'm sorry for all the CNC videos, but my orders have gotten to be so many that I don't have time to do anything else but try to batch out all these flag signs or what have you. So today I'm doing, <clears throat> I just downloaded a new software, the VCarve, the VCarve desktop, and I was using Carbide Create. So it's, a, it's so much more user friendly, no offense, Carbide Create, it was, Y'all's is free, but the V card, oh my gosh, that's the way to go. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. I'm pretty much most of this video is gonna be time lapse, but I tried out my first 3D carve since I've had this machine and I really liked it. Put it on a flag, next thing you know, post it on social media, and now I gotta make a lot of them. So I'm trying to pump them out today as much as possible. So I'm just gonna flip you around and show you where I'm at now. I should have showed the start to finish, but I'm gonna show you where I'm at now, what I've done, and then we'll do the time lapse of the carve. So just stick with me. All right, so here <clears throat> I took the normal premium pine. And what I did first to speed up the process is I, you, you see, I got these little corners, metal pieces here. That way I know where my X and Y is always at my axis. Anyway, so I set the pieces down. I did the X, Y just to make sure. Then used a 1 16th bit and just carved a very thin outline of where the union is going to be. Barely went down in there. I, don't, I think I went 0 0.3 just so I could see that. That way I can stain the blue, then turn around and stain the red and just get, get the stain done. Then I went back and burned it, which I went a little bit over, over board right here but that doesn't matter because when i carve a stripes it's going to take most of this out so anyway that's how i got to this point and just using the regular stain and now i'm going to carve the stripes i do the stripes with a one quarter inch bit i do the stars with a 90 degree v bit and the stars the way it's set up now is i can knock out all 50 stars in seven minutes and then i'm going to go to the uh, one quarter inch same end mill that I use stripes with and I'm gonna do a roughing pass to cut out for the eagle and then I'll go switch over to a one eighth inch ball nose bit to do the finishing pass of the eagle to make the 3D. Enough talking, let's get to cutting. All right, so what I do now is I, what I got the GoPro on a tripod, so I got free hand this. So anyway, I leave this quarter inch. My bits are down cuts. I leave the quarter inch in since I just cut the stripes, save on time. Now, I'm going to take my touch probe, and I set it the way I do it. It's, I mean, it's just me, but I line this little second notch up with that groove, and I put this touch probe right here because I'm going to carve all this out. You know, wood's never the same, especially when you burn it. It brings the moisture up. It makes it curve. So when I'm doing this 3D carve, I got to make darn sure that where I do the, the uh, Z, it's going to be exactly the same. So I set the touch probe right there on those two stripes and line it up here. And I'm going to do the probe, the Z. And then I'm going to do the roughing pass, switch to the 90 degree bit, cut the stars, then put the ball nose back in, put this back right here and do Z in the exact same spot. And it's gonna make this, it's gonna make it come out right. That way there's not a little bit of a difference in the depth of the, of the cut. So anyhow, let me go ahead and do the Z and then I'll fire the other GoPro back up and we'll get to cutting.
All right, so it's day two. I've got everything cut, every, ready to go. So now I got to do the clear coat. So the way I do it is I, uh, I use a Harbor Freight spray gun, paint gun, the one with the purple handle, pretty cheap. And I use polycrylic you can get from Lowe's, which is the water-based clear coat. My neighbor's over here looking at me doing this, probably thinking I'm retarded or something, but so be it. Anyhow, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. I lay them out on the saw horses. I got a little small piece of wood and I'm just gonna put the flags out and I'm gonna spray them down with a clear coat. I usually do two, two coats. I usually do it two heavy coats. If that don't, no more than three. We'll get it the way I want it. So I'm gonna flip you around, show you what it looks like when I'm spray painting it or clear coating it. And then we'll be done with these. So I apologize for the machine running in the background, but trying to get a lot of things done. Here's what it looked like finished. I'm gonna spin around. So that's just uh, two coats of clear coat. This stain I used right here is uh, Mission Oak by men wax but you can see how depending on the grain of the wood it gets darker in certain spots but that's that all right guys that's it for that video so uh it's kind of long but anyway i just want to put my process up there for anybody that's doing that and maybe to help you out if you got any questions shoot me a comment and i'll do my best to answer them like i always say y'all have a nice day thank you for watching like and subscribe because it really helps a brother out We'll see you on the next video.